Good information on the cost embezzlement scandal. The company now reports it has lost $31 million since 2005. Koss also fired its auditor. This mess started after Koss' vice president of finance was fired and charged with embezzling millions of dollars to pay for shopping. The grand jury came down with that indictment late this afternoon. Also today, we obtained a copy of the search warrant that shows what federal agents found when they searched Sue Su Chiva's home and storage units. You won't believe what was inside. The indictment charges former COS Vice President of Finance Sue Su Chiva with defrauding her employer of more than $31 million. Prosecutors believe Su Chiva's spending spree started in January of 2004 and didn't end until she was caught. Federal agents believe she used the money to shop at high-end clothing stores like Valentina's and Mequon, where she is accused of spending $1.3 million. When they searched her home and the storage units she kept in the Third Ward, they found 50 racks full of women's clothing. At least one item had a $20,000 price tag still attached. There were 400 boxes of women's shoes, statues, works of art, and boxes and boxes of clothes. Chanel items, Louis Vuitton luggage, dozens of fur coats, you name it. Prosecutors say Suchiva used Casa's money for plane tickets, home renovations, even cars. People familiar with the story can't believe it. Well, it's pretty unbelievable. I mean, I think it happened to go on with auditors and all that kind of thing, so I'm very surprised that companies can't catch that sooner, but, you know, she's getting what she deserves right now, probably. All the stolen goods, her mech one home, the car, vacation property. If convicted, the feds could take it all. We also learned today that Suchiva surrendered her passport. She stole millions from her employer. Now we know the extravagant items Sue Suchiva purchased with that money. It looks like a who's who of designer labels. And you could soon own some of those expensive items. Shelly Walcott is live in Whitefish Bay. Shelly. Well, Jake and Carol, all of the items that Sousa Chiva bought from stores like this one is going up for auction. And the list of stuff is breathtaking. The 55-page document released by the U.S. Attorney's Office reads like a Vogue catalog. Designer clothing from Dana Buckman, Escada, and Calvin Klein. Manolo Blahnik and Oscar de la Renta shoes. Suits by Christian Dior and Gucci. This boutique owner says it's the type of ultra-high-end stuff that doesn't come cheap. By Escada. Typically 1000 to 2000 Chanel. Over 2,000. The government filed the inventory Tuesday as it prepares to auction off items seized from Sue Sachiva. Items investigators say she bought with the $34 million embezzled from Koss. The list of stuff goes on and on with labels like Jimmy Choo, Christian Laboutin, Prada, and Alexander McQueen. The first 40 pages alone list thousands of pieces of jewelry. Women I spoke to were floored by the extravagance. These items are not, you can't buy La Bouton in Milwaukee. You can't even buy Kate Spade in Milwaukee. It's hard to understand, hard to get your brain around. It's an awful lot of money for stuff. Other details released in the document that most of the shoes are size 8, the clothing size 8 to 14. There was no sign of Sachiva at her Mech One home today where she is free on a $50,000 signature bond after pleading guilty to the embezzlement charges earlier this summer. Her sentencing is scheduled for November. I think that her wants and desires just got away from her. Now, this auction is scheduled to be taking place online, in part organized by the U.S. Marshals Service, although no date has been set for it yet. For the complete list of the luxury items seized from Sue Sachiva, go to our website, today's TMJ4.com. Six, the public got a look at the loot that Sue Sachiva bought with all the money that she stole from the Kloss Corporation. Aaron Diamond reports. A lot of curious folks showed up here to the airport Wyndham Hotel lining up to get a look at all that loot amassed by former cost exec Sue Sachiva. Cases full of high-end jewelry, fancy handbags and designer shoes, all of it seized by the feds from Sue Sachiva, now up for auction this weekend by the U.S. Marshals Service. It almost took my breath away to think that one person would own just even all of these hundred pieces of um, jewelry that we're auctioning off this Saturday. On Friday, about 300 pieces opened to the public for a pre-auction inspection. The former Cost Corp exec is now serving 11 years in prison for embezzling and spending a staggering $34 million. I'm curious to see what you spend that kind of money on. 
I mean, she took so much of it. Some seemed impressed with what they saw. Well, there's a couple rings and a bracelet and a watch that I like. Others, not so much. There's a lot of weird stuff in there I wouldn't want, but she had good taste and she had bad taste. Auctioneers expect the sell-off to bring in around a million bucks from bidders in person and online. Some of those prices could reach six figures. Well, while the looking is free, if you want to bid on any of this stuff, you got to make a $500 deposit. The live auction begins Saturday at 10 a.m. In Milwaukee, Aaron Diamond, today's TMJ4. For the Cross Corporation, a California law firm is now investigating the embezzlement of millions of dollars from Cross. A fired vice president accused of stealing more than $30 million. Now, the law firm may sue Koss on behalf of stockholders. Shiva says she did it and she's sorry. A former Koss executive pleaded guilty to stealing $34 million from the Koss Corporation. She agreed to try to repay the money. She'll get at least five years in prison when she is sentenced in October. We're sentencing for the cost executive who embezzled more than $34 million. Lauren Lemantic is live at the federal courthouse with the latest. Well, Carol, Sue Sachvita stole $34 million from the cost corporation over several years. She used that money to fund a lavish lifestyle and expensive shopping sprees. Today, a judge sent her, sentenced her to 11 years in federal prison. Sue Sachdeva had nothing to say to her co-workers prior to her sentence. Sue, did you want to apologize to your co-workers? She stole $34 million from her longtime employer, Cost Corporation. She bought expensive clothing, shoes, jewelry, and a car. Today, her attorney said Sachdeva did it because of mental illness, not greed. She's sick. There's no other way to, uh, to say it. She was an ill woman. She's getting better now. Sachdeva told a judge she was truly remorseful. She explained, I have lost everything that is dear to me, my marriage, my children, my career, my home, and my freedom. Prosecutors do not dispute that Sachdeva has bipolar disorder and a shopping addiction, but they called it an explanation, not an excuse. Michael Koss, Sachdeva's longtime employer, told the judge his employees suffered financial troubles because of her theft. The company cut pay and stock prices fell. Koss had hoped for a maximum sentence that would have equaled more than 20 years in prison. Instead, a judge sentenced Sachdeva to 11 years behind bars. We respect Judge Edelman's decision in this matter, and we now put it behind us. Now, Sachdeva has asked to spend that 11 years in federal prison at a facility in Northern California. She was not taken into custody today, and she will be allowed to report on her own. She will also have to pay $34 million in restitution to the Cost Corporation, with some of that money coming from the, from the items she purchased being auctioned. Reporting live in downtown Milwaukee, Lauren Lamanchak, today's TMJ4.